What's up guys and thank you for joining. Uh, this is basically a 400 sub special. I just wanted to uh, talk to you guys uh, on it from my heart. You know that that thank you feeling is boiling up inside me. I really felt that I need to do something like this and really talk to you guys personally. You know, I never say this often, but I really do appreciate, I mean, 400 people taking their honest day, 10, 15 minutes of their day, sitting down on YouTube and just watching me ramble on a battle that I had. It's it's very weird. It's, it really is. Um, it I appreciate it so much. I really do, because this is just, it is my hobby, and it's something that I'm, I'm like doing it. And I'm so glad that people find that this is something they can watch. This is something that they, they like the quality, they like the music. Uh, I'm honestly a huge video game nerd when it comes to video game music. I, I love using good music from video games. And um, yeah, you guys probably know Falcom. Uh, the guys behind the East and Legend of Heroes are probably the ones that are using the most because their soundtracks and violence and stuff like that. It's, it's something that feels really me and um, great, you know, if you're going to gym for the same reason, good upbeat music. Uh, but I want to talk about is really, I mean, a lot of the new subs here who helped me reach 400 are from Anima and Dynamic Kush. Um, both those guys, I mean, I've thanked them so many times before. Dynamic Kush, of course, is very new to my channel, at least, when it comes to um, kind of battlers. So if you haven't checked them out, which I know you have, do that again and resubscribe if you unsubscribe, which probably you don't. I don't know why I even said that. But really, what I wanted to say is Dynamic Kush is a very good guy. I like how he battles. Uh, he reminds me a lot of Anima or, or Elora. Uh, it has that Guardian feeling over it, preserving a lot of his pokes and very good at retaliate late game. Um, tough battler and uh, yeah, really fun to uh, go up against because it's something special when you battle pocket tubers because we tend to not try to sweep each other as much. We try to often uh, jab punches. Uh, which makes for good quality videos, of course, and interesting videos, to be honest, yeah. And, uh, yeah, basically, it. check him out if you haven't. Good guy. Yeah, really is. Um, yeah, other than that, I should thank, as always, Elora, you know, breaching 3,000 subs. Man, I remember when I subscribed to her, she was around 20 at best. You know, we just finding out about her, Jack, or just me, well, also a great uh, puck tuber. Uh, I think he's around 500, so congrats to him too, of course. But yeah, um, I remember Laura when she had only 20 subs, you know. She was really funny back then. I was so surprised that she didn't have more subs because she always brought quality content. And um, I just basically befriended Xenon at that time too. So I think a month later, Xenon did SOS on her and boom, 1000 subs. Not in a day, but definitely got the ball rolling. And it seems like after Shady Penguins battle, she breached um, 3,000. That is just incredible. And she she deserves it. She really does. Consider that. Like I said, she does give quality content. And um, yeah, that's basically unique sets. You know, that is something I can appreciate. And uh, yeah, I'm really glad it took out so, it went so fast. It's She really needs to be up there with the other guys. She really does. And I should also thank uh, Raymond or uh, Flaming Axel. Um, good battler too. And uh, I'm glad to have a friend like him here. And you know, Mother Russia. How cool is that? It actually is cool. The Putin feeling is all over the place. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking, uh, I never like talk to guys just like this. I mean, I'm always talking to for roughly a year now. I think 1st December. So one month more, roughly, is my one-year anniversary. I don't think I'll do anything special for the channel. Maybe. I should, shouldn't I? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I just thought, what if I actually just made a video talking about how it all got started? Um, because it's not the most unique stories, but I... Been trying to quit over and over again, and I just couldn't. And it's because of you guys, the community, who brings me a lot of joy, and you know, watching the videos, and you know, basically just makes my day. Uh, I got a lot of energy from um, 
from doing this and feeling appreciated as a person and player um, doing this kind of video. So I just honestly, guys, thank you for being you. <laughs> but what I wanted to get at is that when I started PocketTube, I have around 20 subs, I think, when I started off. I've done other things before on my channel, but there was like, just like um, Pokemon, were more a hobby thing. I did it for myself. And I never wanted to uh, become a big channel, and it, it's never been the purpose really. Um, the thing was that my fiance um, got another type of work, so we didn't collide as much during the day. So I was basically just at home or at the gym. So when I was home, I had roughly nothing to do. I watched, you know, How Much Your Mother stuff like that. We could only watch those kind of series so many times. So I decided, what if I actually upload a Pokemon battle, and you know, trying to. Um, I watched a lot of uh, Pimp Knight, Hayden, uh, I think I watched Xenon for quite some time uh, when I just started off appreciating Gen 5. Um, what did I watch more? I watched Shofu, yeah. The thing that was those three, and I lately, um, after I started Pocket 2, I think I um, started to watch Shady Penguin 2. And, uh, oh, Sabusa, I think it's called. Uh, another great Pocket Tuber, uh, I think it's called Daniel. Uh, a lot of um, PU, LU stuff. But anyway, um, just when I started off, I just was thinking, I can do what they're doing. Uh, I didn't have any capture call or anything like that, but I had a lot of good ideas. And um, subs just went, I mean, I had a goal, like 100 subs shouldn't be too hard, getting 100 people to enjoy us. But it really was. And I, I think around 50 subs, I... I met uh, Jack or just me while, and uh, I think that was just up in upload for two weeks maybe, and uh, we just hit it off. A great friend, you know, we support each other. We both had like a rough time uh, reaching out. We, a lot of our subs were like joint subs. They were watching both of our channels, and that was great because we could actually help each other out. And uh, yeah, he just he gave me good feedback, and I gave him the feedback that I could, I guess, because Jack was definitely. The better battler, I guess, and uh, had a lot of things going. And I was very unaware of the tier. I just I wanted to use the Pokemon that I really liked, and uh, yeah, that may be like one of the worst battles ever. I lost many battles, uh, but it, I wasn't ashamed of it. I was like, yeah, my Tropius killed a Godchamp. Like done. <laughs> That's an upload, even if it was a five-zero. Yeah, deal. <laughs> I think I actually got that battle upload. I think I still have it. Like. I had like nature power, ice on it, or nature gift ice, and the gotcha came in and just boom! And then uh, Mammoth Swine just sweeped me. But it's... yes! Tropius kill gotcha. That is the important stuff. <laughs> but really, it took some time there, and um, I guess it was around January. I got contact with Pimp Knight, and uh, we hit it off really well. Uh, he showed me what never used was in previous generation. I looked at his older videos, trying to get a feel for it. And um, yeah, Pimp Knight or Ben, um, we became good friends. And um, yeah, I've met a guy named Sir Higgins at that process too. And Pimp Knight had a Facebook group that uh, really hit it off. Um, and yeah, pretty much that community really helped me out. It was before I even used Twitter too. So it was a great way of reaching out to new players and you know getting content for my own channel. And helping Pimp Knight in the process with you know people and when it was starting on streams, I was able to join them very often and I was generally like interested in seeing what he did. And that worked for I think two months before you know the channel when the people complained and they shut him down two times at least before he actually gave up totally and they hacked the Facebook group and stuff like that. People just terrorizing overall. And uh, he lost, you know, a little feeling for, you know, keep going with that and just doing the YouTube thing, which actually was his main source, of course, of income. And I myself, um, I was definitely feeling that I probably should stop pocket tubing because of that reason alone. Uh, but I decided to, you know, do a few uploads, see if it works. If it doesn't, then you just lay it all off. Uh, and that was when I met Sinon. Um, and I, I talked with Sinon before. Uh, you know, leaving comments and stuff like that, didn't got respond, but you never really hit it off, like, before, I think, Twitter, and I think by Twitter, I actually reached him, or could actually talk with him, and we realized we were very similar in personality, and, um, you know, I gave him feedback, he gave me feedback, and um, I think in that process, he also, we had a battle, which actually made 
I think I had around 120 subs in one day. I reached roughly 250. And it, it was a huge day for me and actually gave me a very big motivation because now I had pocket tubers who actually were joining my channel for not only battles but you know commenting and giving me feedback on the battles and that was something else that I didn't have experience before where people that are good players actually took the time to care on what I do um, when I was with Pimp Knight it was more about what's the next set that should be used and it was never you know about me it was always about something else and I didn't mind that but you know getting the feedback that people cared for me for what I did was it, it meant a lot through that. Once in this process, I met Anima too, and I gave her that same kind of feedback, you know, giving her, as a player, this is what you should focus on to become even better. And she sure did, because first battle, yes, I did defeat her really easily, uh, but she got really into it, and she really got, like, the fundamentals, and, um, yeah, can't be done. <laughs> She can't be won against. No, really, she's become really great, and I think she she got a, sim a very simple style, but she has a good idea on the player she's going up against, and that that is that is mind game. She's get down, and that is incredible, and uh, yeah, I really like that to be honest. And um, yeah, we got like good together, both Anima, Sinon, and Jack, uh, or just me. While we really got together, and you know, start doing stuff, and it really motivates me. And together with Twitter. I, you know, and getting contact by you guys, and you know, just talk about just not only Pokemon, talking about real things. Like we all have a life, and uh, it's not all about Pokemon, even if I wanted it to. Yeah, but I really that feedback I got after April, you know, reaching 250 sub ish, um, that really made me believe that I'm gonna keep doing this. For at least another year or two. Um, I'm not saying I have like an end propaganda, but uh, it will come a day. I mean, the day I become a father, of course, with my fiance, and I think that's that's like one or two years away. Uh, I really believe I can't keep doing this, but that that like what happened in April really really helped me out as a player. And it really helped me out as a as a person, I guess, because now I was appreciated for not who I was, but what I did. And uh, I started off doing a lot of other stuff, like people really cared for what I was thinking. And I did battle styles videos, which I really should complete. I, I it's it's just it's such a broad concept, and I guess that's really it blows my mind ruining it every time. But it's that kind of videos, and you know, getting feedback from Frank Crow, the Dumb Deals, Seven Tack, Leo, uh, was it more? I think, uh, yeah, it was, oh, Callum, um, Hoodlum Scrafty, yeah, there is. Those guys, you know, they cared for that video, they cared for what I was thinking, and you know, could grasp the concept. And um, that was actually when I realized that I should do battle videos where I have unique sets, you know, and I'm doing these sets and make the set work, not the teamwork. Uh, in that conjunction with, you know, making videos about what I was thinking, how how I, what I think about the metagame and, you know, smuggling and stuff like that, it really just, it helped out so much. And then getting the feedback that you guys really cared for that is, I don't know, it, it felt huge for me, it really did. And um, that really motivates me because that means I just, I don't, I don't... Ah, oh, what's the word? <laughs> uh, I'm just not another Pokemon player. I'm actually a player and uh, an idealist on what I want to see go down. And people look to me when it comes to what is good sportsmanship in Pokemon. And uh, for those who saw my little region battle at fourth time there, I was very salt about that. And that's, that's because that is very much the fundamentals when it comes to battles that when you battle a good player, you don't want you don't want anything besides that battle between you to um, fall asunder for the weird reason. And uh, I wouldn't have cared if I won or lost, but I would have I would have cared if um, we can you know the battle could went on without the crit there. The crit matters so much because we were so both were so good, and that. Yeah, that made me really salty, and um, 
I don't usually like, are like that because I I usually don't care too much about the battles, I guess, because I really just want to try out sets and have fun. And um, yeah, <laughs> it sounds weird, I guess, but I think that's common with being a pocketuber that you just want the quality of the battle. You don't really mind the result of it. And uh, yeah, it, it's something else, I guess. And that was what makes it so good. And that was what motivates me to keep going. So like I said, guys, I'll, I'll keep doing this for quite some time. And I should do a one-year special for sure. First of December. Hmm. Ah, that's going to be cool. But uh, yeah, other than that, I think going for 15 minutes now. That's kind of scary. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, this is for a sub-special. Just you know, say thank you to all you guys. Because all of you guys really helped out, and to all the new subscribers, I'm glad for you guys checking this channel out. And I hope you're gonna enjoy your stay here. And, um, yeah, that should basically be it. Shouldn't bring you guys to stay for another for 20 minutes on this. I'm gonna upload a battle today, of course, and uh, hopefully, I'm gonna keep doing that. I do work a little later here, so I have the time to actually spend on a battle, you know, getting some good music. Damn, will just be perfect. But yeah, guys, thank you as always for watching. Um, and remember, the sky is the limit. So have a good day and take care. Mm, right.